Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV, and today I'm going to be showing you how to update and install iPad OS 14 on your iPad or iPad Pro. Let's get started. All right, now as always, I strongly recommend you watch the entire video so that everything runs smoothly. So first off, what you're going to need is your iPad and you're gonna need it charged up to at least 50% or more. If it's not, plug it up to a charger, either using your lightning cable or your USB-C cable. Then you wanna make sure also that you have enough storage, go into your settings, look at your storage here and ensure you have enough. I'll show you on screen how much storage you're actually going to need for this update. Make sure you have a consistent internet connection preferably a high speed otherwise it may be slow and even cut out and stall in the middle lastly make sure you back up your device prior to running this installation anything can happen you don't want to lose all of your information you can do so using the iCloud on your iPad you can plug it up to your computer and save it there or you can use devices like this this is the transcend jet drive again I'll link in the description so you can pick one of these up they're pretty cheap you can transfer your photos onto it and then transfer them onto your computer all right, so assuming you have everything set up, we can go ahead and open our settings application and then we're going to make sure that the general tab is selected and tap software updates. It'll take a second here to find the update and you can see that it's going to take up 2.48 gigabytes of space on your device. You're probably gonna need a little bit more than that though as it's been that way for older versions of iOS. But once you're ready, tap download and install. You're gonna enter in your passcode, read through the terms and tap agree, tap agree again. And then from here, it's basically going to start to give you an estimated time. It's going to request the update. It's gonna to start to download the update. And this is gonna take probably about half an hour regardless of what those estimates say. So while it's doing this, don't turn off the device, don't unplug it from the charger. And as I said, that's why it's important we make sure we have at least 50% battery or more. So I'm gonna speed this up and we'll come back when it's done. So again, that probably took around the 20 minute mark, if not more. And once you're at this point, you can tap install now. This one is more important that you don't interrupt. So you wanna leave this running. Don't unplug the charger if you have it plugged in. Don't turn this off. Don't start playing around with it. Just let it do its thing. It's probably gonna take just as long, if not longer, but at the end of this, you'll be updated to iPad OS 14. Again, I'll speed this up and then we'll come back. All right, so that didn't take long at all. We'll just swipe up here. It's gonna ask us for our passcode, so we'll enter that again. The software update has completed. We've got iPad OS 14.0. We'll tap continue. And this is just Apple Pay. We'll set that up later in our settings. So we'll say set up later. If you wanna set it up now, you can. Siri, again, I'm gonna set this up later. And not now, that one went on its own. We'll say don't share. I don't usually share my information. I'll let Apple figure that out on their own. And then I'll tap get started. And there we are, we've got iOS 14 on the iPad Pro. And again, if you don't know if your iPad supports it, there's a link in the description. We'll just take a quick look here. So we'll open our settings. We're gonna tap software update. And you can see iPad OS 14.0 is up to date. And there's a lot of cool features specifically with iPad OS 14. I mean, your widgets are gonna look different here, but I'll be covering some of the most important and the best features. And I'll be giving you guys tutorials just like I've done in the past with other iPhones, iPads, and iOS versions. So definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of those videos. Click the bell notification box to be notified and click the like button if you found this video helpful. Also, don't forget to share it on Facebook, Twitter, or whatever social media you use so other people can see this and if they need some help, they'll be able to update to iPadOS 14 as well. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.